The hatchet really has been like the biggest part of my college experience. I started at the hatchet the second I walked onto campus and that's really the place where I met all of my friends. Having the role of editor-in-chief in my senior year has really pushed me to manage people and learn things that I really can't imagine learning in any other experience. The hatchet has been a very large part of my three years at GW. It's where I found some of my closest friends. It's where I've grown as a writer and as an editor and it's taught me more than I could have learned in a class. classroom. It forced me to grow a lot as a writer, a reporter, journalist. I am equipped to join the workforce because of my time in the hatchet more so than I would have been by just doing coursework or you know majoring in journalism. It trained me in more ways than just video production, time management, people skills, reporting skills. I found just the greatest group of people that I've ever been able to work with. In all of my job interviews that I've had and all of my internship interviews, they've always asked me more about the hatchet than anything else on my resume. It's it's literally a full-time job and a half. You're putting in like 60 hours a week or more and you're constantly on call. It just never ends. It consumes your entire life. The work we do, as much as we love it, it should be well considered as a job. I and mean, sometimes it's hard to have other jobs when we're doing something that we know is so important, but unfortunately doesn't come with an hourly pay. There are so many sections that are all doing so much great work and there's so many little expenses that add up and with the limited funds that we do have, it's hard to spread those around. Over spring break, I got to travel with our sports department. We went to Brooklyn to cover the A-10 tournament. That was such an exciting trip. I got to sit courtside with Barbara Alberts, who's our sports editor. Travel, I think, is the single most expense that sports incurs. More funding and being able to send more people to different places without having to worry about a cost would help boost our coverage immensely because we wouldn't have to worry about are we gonna be able to afford to go to this game it's more like all right who can we get going you know it's really important that we're accessible especially as a teaching institution but our cameras have seen better days they don't really operate in low light the lenses are getting pretty old we don't have a hard drive we are always in need of a tripod microphones SD cards something is always kind of broken we have had to scrap videos that people worked very very hard on because our technology wasn't what it needed to be to properly meet our standards. It's so disheartening to see when photographers don't have the gear that they need to succeed. As photo editors, we would always do our best to provide them some of our own gear. You need a lot of storage space too. That's probably the hardest part. Pictures take up a lot of room on computers and we don't have enough hard drive space at the end of the day. Every section could benefit from your donations and every section could be doing even better than they already are with additional funding.